you too what's up gang i'm back again with another video yes another one. yes all right so in this video i'm gonna be going over um i guess what uh whew. we're gonna we're gonna start over okay so in this video i'm gonna be going over what i use at night to sleep with for my dreads and uh products new products that i currently use for them as well all right so be back in one second once i get all this together what's up all right guys i'm back uh here with all the products that i use for my dreads currently um really none of the other stuff that i used before besides like the shampoo and conditioner i still use that but uh any of the other products i really don't use anymore i just it wasn't working for me so no but these what I, i've been these products that i use i've been using for a while now and they seem to get the job done a lot better all right starting off is this this is a shampoo um and it's a pre shampoo deeply cleanse hair and scalp uh removes buildup with mint and green tea so this is a great feeling uh when you're washing your hair it makes it feel real great like the tingly makes it feel like uh it's doing its job um after that i go back in with another shampoo so uh once again it's tea tree mint i use this shampoo afterwards do that and then i follow up with this conditioner right here now it's a leave-in conditioner but i do not leave it in um i actually rinse it out so it helps to lock in moisture helps prevent flakes and itching and helps strengthen hair all right now for uh like retwisting and uh i guess to do like palm rolling on a on the actual dread itself this is what i use so i guess i could have showed you at the top it'd be easier for you to read so no sulfates no mineral oils no silicone so this right here is good i just used this yesterday actually i just washed my hair like i said i dyed it and i washed it and then i use like this much put it on my palm like that take it and then i take one of the bits and just kind of palm roll it to start helping them create their form so like i said you don't need that much i just used that little bit for three of them right there so do that and i wish i had the a picture of before that you could see how they look like after i came out uh well came out the shower after i washed them which i'm pretty sure y'all that have dreads you know how frizzy and just there it'd be so if you can see this it gives it some true definition and some shape so that it's just not everywhere Oh yeah, do that and that's that. Um, gonna set that to the side. So my next thing after i shower i mean oh my god i don't know why i keep saying that after i wash my hair shampoo my hair um all that 
then I come over to after I, I used the moisture to kind of for the dreads to palm roll it then um, I try to put some moisture back in my hair so I use this and I use this because uh, my hair gets really really dry and um, my scalp it just gets really dry and I'm exposed to heat a lot and it just makes it worse and so it's just super dry so I got this right here and this helps a lot when I was a kid um, I know my mom used to use the uh, grease kind for my hair so I got this and if you have really dry like flaky itchy you know whatever this is a great this is a great thing to pick up and use for that. Um, as far as oil, now I am about to order uh, some natural oil from a site and start and check that out. But as of right now, this is what I use, Palmer's. This is really, really good though. Like if it, I guess if it continues to do its job, you know what I mean, like that, I probably won't need the other one. I just want to check it out and see since it's natural. Um, but this is really natural too. No mineral oil, uh, no sulfates, no gluten, all uh, that uh, hair food oil. And um, I just came across this a little bit ago, but from the little time that I've been using it, which is about two, maybe three weeks, it's been doing a great job. Like these two together, are amazing are amazing i'm trying to tell you like you will have no my scalp has not been dry like you can't really tell right now because i just washed it and stuff but if you've seen like picture or whatever of it before even when i have this style you can see if i just do like that like that it'll start flaking up right now it's not even doing it so i think these were pretty good so um now on to what i use for my dress at night so before they got to like this point i used to use the do rag i mean put it on there use that but now uh if i try to use this when i tie it like when i tie it i still have like all this hanging out all of that and I don't like that so I went on and to look for different things I also seen that so I know people seeing these a lot but you see the ones that you kind of just like pull all the way down this is a scarf kind so with this one wow <laughs> so with this one you kind of just throw it on there I like to have all my hair inside so you kind of just throw it on there like that and all your hairs in there all your hairs you know if it was longer it'd be down there but all your hairs in there how you do is tie it tie it like a scarf bam you can have it like that out like that you know what I mean or if you want to feel a little bit more secure, 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 you can tie the tail part in there with it as well, like that, and have it so it's not just loose and flopping around like that. It really looks like a do rag, so you can never. People probably won't even know for real until they get close to you. But um, yeah, those are the two things that I well, I really don't really use this anymore only time i would use a do-rag is if i got a style if i got two braids or something like that if i got a style then i'll use the do-rag i feel like that helps my style uh stay fresh longer but um other than that if it's just out i'm just i'm using this i'm using this and that's about it so yeah um guys hope you guys like this video and all that good stuff so uh See you next time in the next video, guys. Stay large.